It was a packed house here in Millersburg, definitely full of a lot of passion, but also peaceful discourse. I will tell you, in the end, when that motion went forward, it failed with a vote of four no's and two yeses. But one thing is clear, although there's a lot of passion here, the people definitely came out to let their voices be heard. Would you send a petition to Shakespeare? I urge you to speak with the wisdom that comes from above. Tonight, a Millersburg Borough Council meeting was filled to the brim after pushback ensued over a drag dinner set to be held next month. A lot of great public discourse, and uh, it was a civil conversation about a topic that a lot of times is very heated. The event planned as a fundraiser for the second Pride in the Valley Festival faced backlash after an online petition anonymously signed by a concerned citizen started to make the rounds claiming the drag dinner violated the borough's laws on pornography and should be age restricted with curtains to obscure people from walking by the cafe where the event is being held. It's important for people in our community to get to get together and have some fun in a safe environment. I'm asking council to do all that they can to prevent this from happening. Evil doesn't stop and neither does good. The organizers made it clear that there was never going to be any pornography, just entertainment and an inclusive gathering. And in the end, the show prevailed with no revisions, including no curtains or age limits. Really, honestly, it was a roller coaster of emotions. It was swaying one way, then another. But at the end, my goodness, I am just so grateful and appreciative for what happened tonight. I have the opinions that I shared about, you know, the show and all of that. But I feel really good about our community coming together with disagreements and walking away in a spirit of peace. And, you know, the council shared with me that they hope that the biggest thing that comes out of this is not only education, but that bridges will be built in this community. I will tell you at the end of the night when the pastor left out, as well as some of the organizers who spoke uh, at this meeting, they shook hands, exchanged pleasantries. And you could tell that they both were really in good spirits, knowing that each side was heard in this meeting. So it's good to know that there's a lot of passion in this community. But at the end of the night, at the peace is definitely still intact. Reporting live from Millersburg. Michael Fuller, WGAL News 8.